In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very, very versatile passing play. Um, it's been one of the best passing concepts or plays all year because you can create multiple concepts from it. And it comes to us out of the West Coast playbook. Today, we'll be focusing on the play Mesh Post. I'm going to give you one of my favorite, favorite setups uh, from this form or from this play. And what it really stems from is the fact that in general, um, traditionally, we've wanted to run the bunch to the wide side. In this example, we're going to want to run the bunch to the wide side. But we're going to take advantage of short side passing concepts to kind of um, attack the meta defenses that people are going to be running to try to stop Gun Bunch. So uh, with that in mind, if you guys want to get my full West Coast offensive ebook, I just released that this past week for the bunch. If you guys want to check that out, be sure to join my Patreon. The link is in the description where you can join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. Get you access to all of the Bad 23 offensive and defensive ebooks that we have in there. We have a whole library of ebooks. I think we have 17 offensive and defensive ebooks as of this week. And we're going to be dropping another one later in the week. So, again, if you want to check that out, the link is in the description if you want to sign up for that. So, like I said, today we're going to be going on a bunch. We're going to be going over mesh post. And this in particular setup is really effective for man and zone coverage. Now, um, I actually did play uh, the number eight man player in the world, Dat Boy. Uh, we just matched up in a random game. And when we matched up, um, he was actually running trips tight end, I was running trips tight end. Uh, but the concept still cross applies to bunch. And that is when you run a flood concept, um, and I'll illustrate it here real quick for us. Um, if I was to run a flood concept, so let's say I run deep corner, and I run it, and they are in cover three, and I run that to the wide side of the field. Um, you're going to notice that this corner route will get played by that outside third. However, if I was to flip my formation, so we're going to flip our defense and we'll flip our offense, so everything is you know kind of the same, if you will. So if I was to run the exact same route combination to the short side of the field over here, you're going to see that this is going to work that third will suck inside and it's because madden and zone specifically in madden has been based on off of a grid and it's been that way for years um and that is no different when we talk about the c route um in this game so what you're going to see is uh if i was to want to run this play or the the setup the basic setup for this play is we're going to streak our slot receiver we're going to um in route our tight end we're going to motion our slot receiver across, block our running back, and we can put this guy on a C route. So you see, this is what the play art looks like. Okay, We've got a quick hitter to the tight end, and then we're going to progress to the post. What we're anticipating is that they're going to be using either in the middle field or to the running back side. That's kind of how most people play bunch. But what you're going to see with this is if I was to uh, want to run man coverage, this C route to the left will normally get pretty good separation as you see right there and we'll be able to cook that coverage outside of print is fairly simple to get at this point in the year i would really really recommend that you get it um, it's a really really important uh, and effective ability this year so you see this is what the player looks like now and so one of the major counters that people are going to do is they're going to put that outside corner on an outside third so i'll show you my play art here um, he's not on a hard flat, trust me. Well, maybe he is. There you see, outside third. Okay, so you see he's on an outside third. This streak, because it's ran to the short side, will suck that outside third inside, and you'll be able to freeform that to the left to be able to attack zone, um, or to be able to attack like just a simple outside third. Now, it's even better if they are in just like a basic zone. So like, let's say they're in cover four. Again, notice that this receiver is outside, just slightly outside the numbers. Really important. And what you'll see is that zone will suck inside. We can freeform that down and outside um, at about 9 o'clock or about 8 o'clock uh, to be able to attack that zone coverage. That was cover 4. Now we'll show you cover 3 again, but we'll just show you a different variation of the cover 3 where they actually just have the standard cover 3. And you see again, he sucks inside, and I can throw that. So this is, in my opinion, this is probably the best zone beater in the game because it is so consistent against cover three, cover four, and cover two. So you'll see here, I'm going to go to cover two now. And we're actually going to back these, um, we're going to back the uh, clouds off. 
maybe. <laughs> um, we're gonna back off the clouds, and what you'll see is that these zones will play interesting. So uh, I'm gonna pass command, back off the clouds, um, all that. And here's our concept. We'll block the running back. And I want you to watch this C route. So you see the, the cloud will basically not get enough depth and you can highball it over that. And that D path will suck inside um, to that defender. So literally every zone in the game, this is going to burn uh, on this side. Now, what this does, uh, this concept, is it now forces the opponent or the user to essentially, let's say they're using, well, you know, let's just say they're using the safety, for example. They now have to go over here um, to protect against the C route. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's going to leave the entire middle of the field open for one of the best routes in the game as well, which is this mesh post post coming back across the middle. Now, you still do have a clear out route for your mesh post uh, route. So let's say, for example, again, that they're in some like uh, cover four, for example, and let's just assume that they go to the left and that our C route's not covered. Well, now we can throw this right in that little pocket right there. So you see how uh, this play is super effective. Now, um, let's just say they make the perfect defensive adjustments. Maybe they do something like this. Um, and then maybe now they're going to drift back and they're going to cover, they're going to help cover the, um, the mesh post post, right? Now what you're going to notice is where our tight end can come in real, uh, be very helpful. And it, it, whether he's on a drag or in route is up to you. Uh, but what you'll see is this little quick underneath route, just free form it open. And as you can see, uh, free form lead to the left and it's going to be able to be very effective. Now you can put short and elite on him and mutt. It's going to make it even better. But this is one of the best play concepts in the game because of its ability to beat man-to-man -man consistently, but also because of its ability to beat zone coverage, specifically to um, the solo side where a lot of people want to put this outside third over here. And when you run a concept like this, this streak is going to give you just enough clearance to be able to throw this. If you wait on this route, pass lead left, boom, and we're able to cook that coverage. This makes Bunch really, really powerful. You can apply this concept to other formations, but Mesh Post is an extremely versatile play. Obviously, Bunch has several of those kind of plays. And if you want to learn my West Coast Offensive eBook, which we focus in on the West Coast variation of the Gun Bunch, make sure that you join our Patreon. You can head down to the description below if you want to sign up for that. It's only 10 bucks. You can click the link down there. Um, there's a link right at the top of the description for you. And again, by joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any new ebooks and any updates to those ebooks that we release. We pretty much release new updates almost every single week as needed for the ebooks. So you're always having the freshest variations of content and always um, in the patreon will always have the newest stuff as well from just a standard new ebook wise so if you want to check that out the link is in the description thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you over at the patreon